So there was this topic, but this time around we are discussing this one. So our question there was, an antelope moving with constant acceleration covers the distance between two points 70 meters apart in seven seconds. The speed as it passes the second point is 15 meters per second. What is its speed at the first? That's A. What is the acceleration? That's B. So we collect the data for the question. So I told you that the distance between two points is displacement. So you said delta x equals 70 meters. T is seven seconds. Then since this is a speed at a second point, then it's V. V is 15 meters per second. So the speed at the first, that's the initial. So the equation to use is for average velocity. Meaning you use that equation where we say delta x is equal to 70 meters, t is 7 seconds, v equals 15, then v naught is not given. That's why I put question mark on v naught. Then you write delta x over t equals v naught plus v over 2. We're looking for v naught. So you replace there, you put 70 over 7 equals v naught plus 15 over 2. How to change the subject of the formula? It's your mathematical prowess. You do what you're comfortable with. So that's why for the first part, I even just cross multiplied. So this is multiplied with everything here. So when you're cross multiplying, remember to put brackets there because you must multiply both the values that are there. Then two times 70, which is 140, will be seven V naught plus 105. Then the 105 can cross there. You have 140 minus 105. Then you get 35 equals 7 V naught. When you divide over 7, the answer is 5. If you want, you can divide the power of what a 10, or shall 10 over 1. <laughs> then, <laughs> ever then the mic is on. Sorry, sir. Not for formula and Sorry, sir, sorry. This will be 10. Then when this one goes this other side, because dividing here, when it goes there, it multiplies, it will be 20. Then when the 15 crosses there, it becomes 20 minus 15, which is also 5. You can do that. The next question. Uh, which is number four. How long would it take a truck? Oh, what is the acceleration? That's what that was the next question, sorry. So for the acceleration, you remember this question. Acceleration is simply A equals V naught minus V minus V naught over, over T. But then I wrote this equation because I just wanted to have fun. So you say five, uh, 15 equals five plus a times seven, because t was seven. Then 15 minus five, you get 10 equals seven a. Then you divide seven throughout. So you're going to have 1.43 meters per second squared. That's how you go about it. It's very straightforward. The next question is this one. How long would it take a truck to increase its speed from 10 to 10 meters per second to 30 meters per second? If it does so with uniform acceleration over a distance of 80 meters. The same question as uh, number three, the same equation. So you collect V naught 10, V 30, delta X is distance there. So that's 80 meters, and then you're looking for T. So who is number four? I'm a data. Delta X is 80 meters, 
V0 is 10, V is 30. So you put them there, delta X over T equals V0 plus V over two. So it will be 80 over T equals 10 plus 30 over two. Then, then you can have them. If you want, you can flip them. So I flipped them here. Guys, Muli Landasan, India, Shimuli Bizza Palanji. So I flipped them there. T over 8, instead of writing 8 over T, I wrote T over 8. So that on the other side, they also flipped it. What you do this side of the equation, you also do that side. So upon us, I've got T over 8 equals 2 over 40. Now multiply on both sides by 8. Now cancel, now cancel. The answer is in 4 seconds. That's how it is. So for these physics guys, there's no sugar coating. The only skill you must possess is how to change the subject of the formula. Then akaka question aka we me akaka number. This one is a bit involving. What are number twelve marks? Number fifteen. So motorist traveling with a constant fifteen meters per second passes a school crossing corner where the speed limit is 10 meters per second. Just as the motorist passes the school crossing corner, a officer who is waiting for someone to commit a crime starts in pursuit at a constant three meters per second. How much time elapses before the officer passes the motorist? B, what is the officer's speed at that last point? Then C, at that time, what distance has each vehicle traveled? So now, this question, guys, A sometimes will life me up. To us, find the distance over a line that wants to be Nangu, what is the officer's speed at that point? So now, the idea is A, Nangu, it's a must find. A is always a must find. You first of all find this, the time. So this is two part commotion. It's a, a bit involving. It's a bit involving. I can't sugarcoat like the hours sugarcoating these ones. So you, you need to reason a lot. What do, like if someone is chasing someone, we are Peter, then Mambo Kumupepeka. So we're trying to say the motion starts at the same stuff. I'm sure you've been seeing where you're starting on your marks, let's say it, go. You were preparing to go. Then he would be like, That's the way it is because the, the officer is accelerating from rest. So you start slow and start increasing until he catches up. But this one is moving already fast, so it is moving. So they're starting from the same point. So the equation you use is for displacement or for position. I love the one for position a lot. So I wrote. X equals X naught plus V naught T plus A T squared over two. So X naught is definitely zero. They are both starting from the corner. No one is ahead of the other. If someone was ahead of the other, then when you look at the motorist, him is moving at a constant speed. So all you have is V naught. So you say X for the motorist is zero in Bacona was a power origin plus 15t because that's how, how it is I'm, I'm sure you agree a distance is equal to speed times time because it's constant speed plus the acceleration is zero because it's constant in speed so if someone's moving at a constant speed then his acceleration is zero so zero t squared over two when you say zero t squared when zero just multiplies anything then everything becomes zero it means what we catch into, we could be a monitor party. Nothing. What do you get when you multiply nothing times something? You get nothing. So don't you close your number t squared, because when you multiply a thing by zero, or zero divided by something, it's just zero. So meaning the only thing that stands here is that x is 15t. Then we come now to the officer. The officer is also at the corner, zero. Plus, he has no initial velocity because he had stopped. So 9 and 0 times 10. 
Hapa na ipena ni zero guys. Zero times time ni zero. Mwune formulate ni kapaka kileta na zero times hundred. You find this zero. Plus the acceleration which is three t squared over two. So the distance for the officer is 1.5 t squared. Then you equate these two. For them to catch up, you're supposed to equate this x in sterilized in nayab. You, 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 you equate them for them to catch up. So 1.5 t squared is equal to 15 t. Mm -hmm. Then the 15 can cross up. So you're going to have 1.5 t squared minus 15 t equals zero. So 1.5 t, open brackets, t minus 10 equals zero. So 1.5 t is equal to zero, meaning t is equal to zero. This is at the beginning. At the beginning, a time is, is equal to zero. The, the vehicles are at par, the motor cycle and the, the motorists, they are at par. Then also T, the F minus the five factorized, that's what it means when you did a factorization. So it also means T minus 10 is also zero. So if T minus 10 is zero, then T is 10 seconds. This is the time you're looking for. So after 10 seconds, the officer catches up with the motorist. So that's how it is. What is the officer's speed at that point? So you say V equals V naught plus A T. So V naught, the officer had stopped at the corner, so the initial is zero. So you say zero plus three times the time which you have found the A. So A and the old is initial beta while here. So that's how it is. So zero plus three times 10. 30 meters per second. Then to find the distance, the distance were in the name in, but I just use them for fun, uh, use both equations. Therefore, the officer, it was 1.5 T squared. So it's 1.5 times 10 squared, which is 150 meters. So for the motorist is 15 T, which is 15 times 10. It's also 150 meters. So for them to meet again, they would have moved the same distance. Unless we said that nine dark distance goes to Peraka time with what's on the X naught. If they give us an initial time set after two seconds, would have said for this person that was bigger at 15 T. That was bigger call two times 15, which is 30, 13 gets by initial position. Yeah, Nishana not and get a cook at the 30. So, I'm going to 30 plus 15t. But then that's not the case. That's why we're going to say, because question is, if we find that Naba and 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 in 8.5 seconds while smoothly slowing to a final speed of 2.8 meters per second. What is the original speed? Then find the acceleration. Now monapa, but the distance, but the time, then by the final speed. Either equation here varies, but still have one but imagine we are, it's not even on the equations of motion, but it's one of the most useful on everything that we've done today. E.g. the Moisapa number. But we work till that time 8.5 seconds, delta x is 40 meters, then 2.8 meters per second, a final velocity. This person is slowing down. So you write delta x over t equals v naught plus v over two. So we are looking for v naught again. It should be bigger. What's the original speed? The original speed is v naught. So then you solve. It's similar to that one. It was in a chanter of we between two points. Then you solve for for this. Uh, what I did at first, not so much plus both sides by two, so that the two you have mark or you product side. You have mark. You can do what I did at first if you want. You can cross multiply just. There are so many ways of killing a rat. There are so many ways of killing the rat. Well, for two and mummy, court because when and two and mummy, sapato and one the other's poisoning and one with lamin shakaba, even problem solving. There are so many ways of solving the problems. So, apart all I'm doing is changing the subjects to V naught. 
So if your child of mathematics taught you so well how to change the subject formula, you do it. I'm sure most of you are comfortable with cost multiply. That's why I did at first cost multiply. But then I'm just telling you that also ways where you can just be moving this part up our multiply this side no one multiply. Okay, I can sign, okay, I can sign, but yeah, multiply, 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 multiply. So two times 40 over 8.5 or quarter 9.4 equals V naught plus 2.8. Then 9.4 minus 2.8 is 6.6 .6 meters per second. So that's how it is. So to find the acceleration, to find the acceleration, you just say A equals V minus V naught over T. So it's 2.8 minus 6.6 .6 over 8.5. So it's minus 3.8 over 8.5. So the acceleration is negative 0.447 or minus 0.45 meters per second squared. It makes sense because this thing is slowing down. It makes sense because this thing is slowing down. So that's the reason. So when we go to number seven, we go to number seven, which is um, a racing car uh, reaches a speed of 40 meters per second. At this instant, it begins to a uniform negative acceleration. Negative acceleration is deceleration using a parachute as a braking system and comes to rest in five seconds. Determine the acceleration of, of the car. So it comes to rest. So I mean the final velocity V is zero. The initial velocity is 40. The time is five. It's very straightforward. Then alpha, alpha. Alpha wala bumjere in average. It's even beautiful to use the average because in Nangwa Taudi the A in Shwadia B. So we come to number number six, number seven. So to our sangha acceleration should be negative. It makes sense because we're told it's slowing down. Even a pen, it made sense because we're told it's decelerating. So our sangha minus eight meters per second squared. Then you come back, this equation is very useful if you've seen. Delta x over t equals v naught plus v over two. This is the one sangha, film b and one fear in acceleration. What if you are wrong? So when I was on acceleration, you are wrong, why we can move in beef. Wow. So then you, you change subjects to the formula because upper number you're looking at alpha. So you just say V naught plus zero over two. So 40 plus zero is equal to delta X over five. You can cross the five alone if you want. Apply just cross multiply. So I two X delta X equals five times 40. We divide it by two, we got 100. So the answer, Missouri. Answer, Missouri. The only other tough question is velocity time graph because maybe you've forgotten. Velocity time graph, the shape is a trapezium. So this is a question for the velocity time graph. At the end, first constant acceleration, meaning straight line at an angle. Then you move at a constant speed, horizontal line. Then you decelerate. Then you get in the the distance so the distance here you just work out the velocity time graph the area under the velocity time graph is actually the the, the area under the velocity time graph <laughs> so that's how it is so you solve this one so the only key thing is that you find the first part the final velocity using the time you've been given. So it's zero, okay, starting from rest, plus 15 times, three times 15, 45. So you draw a line with kappa 45. It should just be a sketch, don't draw to scale. So you just draw 45, you go 15. Straight line, go to more than you can draw it. You draw a line with freehand. Then for two minutes, I end this constant velocity. Two minutes is one, one, one 20 minutes. 60 seconds is one minute. So you, you, you move 120. So what is 120 plus 15 is 135. So to, to move from this point to that is 135. Then for the last part of the motion, because what we are to accelerate, 
to rest. You just find the time there because now we have the deceleration. So which one is the initial? The initial is the 45. Okay, I have 45 in and I have zero. So you have because T equals zero minus 45 uh, over minus uh, nine point, minus what? 9.5. Then I get negative, I get time as 4.74. So what is 4.74? Which the add could be 135. I get 139.74. So you get to, that those are the size for your trapezium. Your A, which is the short part on top there, is 120. Your B, which is the longest part down there, is 139.74. Then the height is 45. So you write a delta x equals half, open brackets, a plus b h. Then you solve if you look at you. This is the case. So when you work this thing out, those are the answers. So um, briefly, briefly, I, I, I know you, you, you are eager. So briefly, briefly, I've explained uh, party, mo, party free fall. Free fall is motion near the vertical. Yamuli vertical, when you throw something down, uh, up, it always comes down because there's an acceleration, which is called the acceleration due to gravity. There's a, a force which is the weight, but it's a kinematic, so we don't focus on the weight. We just focus on the acceleration as it, it's 9.8 meters per second squared. Who have sang Gilefini Galilei Galileo is the one who found these things. So the only thing that I want you to note is that the equations there are different. The same equations except the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared downwards. So these are the equations for free fall. When we meet uh, next week on Tuesday, we'll come and solve these two questions at the upper. But I just want you to go and go through this work here. So what the only, only important thing to note, guys, is when you throw something up, then it has a positive speed for positive velocity. And then if it's above, it also it has a positive displacement. Then if something is coming down, then it's the velocity is negative. When it goes below where you threw from, then the displacement is negative. So uh, I've used y minus y naught here, which is also a height. So if you can see, a panim a height, because I, I was noting to say h is y minus y naught. So instead of writing y minus y naught, I've put h equals v naught t, v naught t minus 4.9 t squared. When you're reading your book, to a sangha equal to more subscripts y. Why? Because the vertical motion is on the y-axis. So it's very acceptable to use the, that solving mechanism. I won't bombard you with any of these. I just want you to go and go through so that um, you perfect and try to understand these concepts. So this is the perf perfect motion at a constant uh, acceleration, with constant acceleration. Then the only other thing that you note here is that if there's no air resistance, an elephant and a leaf, will land at the same time. The only thing that disturbs the falling is their resistance. Yes, so I'm going to Galileo Galilei. This Galileo Galilei guys, I should have freedom in prison. By some daughter who caught, who prison by the Pope. In fact, he was sent to hang, sentenced to hang. Though he was never hung, but probably now the moon prison, apangana bia matiyoriza inesha, nama Newton laws yada, where Newton, you are better than Newton if you are coming up to go. Galileo Galilei. My mom, my mother, is scientist. My mother, son. His crime for being sent to prison was because he said that the earth was round. He shall be in the land of my mother's world of prosperity to the end of the earth. It was not land that the earth is round. That was the end. But the body, the wound, the cover, the sun, and the moon, and the masses. That's why he died from. He was sentenced to prison. He was sentenced to hanging by the Pope because he said that the earth was round 
and it was moving around the sun. <laughs> so those are the scenarios. I'll go back to this because uh, I just wanted you to have an idea on what I was talking about. So next time I come, so I'll ask you now, what questions do you have on what you've solved? Any sensations? Because the first two we did, that's why we started with number three. Any questions? Sir, can I ask a question uh, on those which are on the study master? Yeah, no problem. Let me move there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The, I'm, I'm, I, I'm asking where the v squared in question 2e went. The v squared, come first, where it went. Why it became zero? Pesa. Put down, could you solution in? Oh. Why are pandanas moving off here? Because I want to come and explain this on Tuesday. Shukumi shego, you know. Though, what I just want to emphasize is that when you throw something up, boy, the velocity will start reducing. And at the maximum height, the velocity is always zero. So the final velocity, okay, this question was it, find the maximum height. At the maximum height in the monocle, but at H max, V is equal to zero. At the maximum height, the velocity is always zero. So for you, but you want to say, i that maximum height. So now we time to try that three one here equation V equals V naught minus G to three for fire, Term when it is at maximum height. In Shukuku, the V to Arabica equals zero. Then go asanga time we, each time when it reaches the maximum height from the time you, you throw. So that's the way it is. Okay, sir. All right. I think I've explained, but I just wanted to, us to focus on one thing. So at the time, Gaya Furasana, that I'm going to eat the shine. I'm going to eat the shine, I'm going to eat the shine. I let fun de finger more than more. A catchogot for me. Any other questions, guys? You can even ask on the stud master because apparently, so is you understood. Yes, Gordon. I, I, I need a bit of help on the graph, on the velocity time graph. Yes, at, uh, at, at the problem. I, I need. Uh, help on the last part on the de deceleration part so yes. it's it's necessary that you need to find the time because i got the question wrong because i didn't consider the the time so I, I i want clarity on how you found the last part the time okay. since yes yes uh let me explain so now this thing moves a uh, constant acceleration then it reaches a constant speed and moves at that constant speed. So if you remember at the constant speed, the speed is not changing. The acceleration is zero. So that's the way it is. So it will just be 45 throughout for the 120 uh, seconds. Time is vital because it, it, these two are times, the 120 we are using here and the, the, the A and the B of the trapezium are both times. Only the H is a, a velocity because the height is this one, 45. So we have to find the time. Kayapa, it's moving from the constant speed. So you should keep the, the time, the constant speed as 45. Then it slows down, it decelerates. So it decelerates until it rests, until it stops. So you to find the time, you use the same equation of motion. Remember, I'm sure my friend to say A equals V naught minus V, uh, V minus V naught over T. Number pan, we are changing the subject of formula to T, not chinchak anymore. So T is final velocity minus initial velocity over the acceleration. The acceleration in this case, since this thing is slowing down, is negative. So I'll say zero minus 45 over negative 9.5. That's the reason in there. Are we together, sir? So when you find this time, 4.7, if you saw, 
There it was 15. Then I added to 120 until it was 135. Because I want to get my time from this point to all of this point. So I pay myself 135. Then I have a time I have deceleration foot. I added this to 135. I got 139.74. So that's the reason. This is just how you go about it. And the beauty about this, Mr. Gordon, is that it's monotonous. Gawa mona fi efine fu bachi tadions. Fu cha di pas tende kero fu cha bana nomba e fu cha kola abafi. Equation. Especially when we start from rest. Are we together, Gordon? Yes, sir. I've understood. Thank you. Okay, okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Samantha Zimba. Yes. The London for man. Samantha, my information is a Yaku in a vede. Ah, Yaku, Peter. It's Samantha Zimba Ruth. Hm. Yakua, why you are much now, much soon we are bidding. What a few more. What? Quite you, quite you are here, so that's when I was given two, two names. Okay, you can give the question. No, I, I joined a little bit late, so I'll just, I don't have any questions at the moment, but I'll come with a question one day when I go through this recording. Sir. Yes. Yes, I would really use your help on the, there's a question which talks about um, a man standing on the hill then throws something. I want you to explain again. Uh, on the very question, on the, the on the work that you have given today on study master. Okay, I'll come there because as I was explaining, let me let me go to study master. So this person, I'll just explain. You, you throw something on the from the roof of the building. Then you throw it, it goes up. So I just, I just want to be explaining. The only thing which is constant there is that the G is 9.8 meters per second squared. Then the initial velocity is 15. So when you throw something up, it goes up. So once it's going up, its velocity is positive. Upward velocity is positive velocity. That velocity will be reducing, reducing, reducing until it reaches the maximum height. At the maximum height, the velocity will be zero. I'll even show you the graph the next time we come. Then this thing will start for, uh, falling. The same speeds, the same speed it had going up, the same speeds now it will have when coming down, except it will be negative. You get it? Then when it reaches this point, the reading, the ones that I mentioned where you threw from, the velocity you threw with 15, the velocity will, will be negative 15 now. Why? Because it's going down. Okay, it will have the same speeds at the same points, except they'll be positive going up and negative coming down. So when this thing starts falling down, when it go, reaches this point, the, the displacement is zero. The displacement is zero because this is where you throw from. So y minus y naught is zero. Then when it falls below, the displacement is negative. That's the reasoning. There's a question. Share one minute. Get Are there any questions? Stand you. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. The question is from the explanation that you've just given, Godin. Yes. Um, you said when you throw it up, the yes. and throw it, and when it's coming down, the speed is the same. Is yes. it when coming down, the speed is more due to gravity? No, the gravity is the same going up and down. So when it's passing through the same point, it will have the same speeds, say four meters above, it will have the same speed, except when it's going above, it will be positive. When it's coming down to what e, negative. Gravity is just the same throughout, whether going up or coming down. That's why it's, this one is called free fall, even when you're just throwing. Because even when it's going up, the acceleration is 
still going towards the, the center of the earth. So that, that's the reasoning. That's why there's a question to what's the acceleration at the mass of light? Even then, the acceleration is just as G. At whatever point in an outpost, acceleration is changing above in gravity. They change, you know, what was succession as two meters above and eight meters above. Quibuk shaft, the other one, so the question of a chain free for Nishiniji. So that's the reasoning. So up is uh, up is positive, down is negative, above is positive, below is negative. So go and go through your work, guys. Um, I'm sure you.